So congratulations cool. on finishing your speech. Thank uh, you. And good job. So I had two questions really that, that I wanted to ask you uh, specifically about your perspective as it relates to Cleveland. And mm -hmm. the first as we, uh, the provenance of, of goods. Um, what do you see as Cleveland's special um, uh, the, the value added that we give to goods. I know you mentioned the place that, that you found. Yeah, in. Drifter. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think that, you know, I, I don't want to talk about sort of Cleveland as like a place to do business. I think like Drifter being here is, is amazing that they have, they probably have so many resources, you know, with the way the the way that Cleveland is sort of set up in terms of, you know, actually making things, I bet there's a lot of like support for them or, or I bet it's a good environment for them actually to be in. Um, but I think, you know, Cleveland's all about the ingenuity of its people. And, you know, where I grew up uh, on the east side, I always remember sort of in the summer going into the garage of my neighbor's, my neighbor's dad and there would be a tool bench and and everyone could do everything. They could, you know, fix anything, solve any problem. There's like this ingenuity here that is sort of infused in everyone. And uh, Cleveland's, one of the things I wanted to say, you know, in my talk, which I didn't actually get to was, Cleveland's got this amazing sort of underdog spirit where, you know, everyone's really proud and, you know, the, everyone sort of like pulls in together to support each other. And it's it's this amazing sort of culture because we all, I, I feel like everyone that grew up here or everyone that lives here sort of has to think like we're all in this together. Like everyone, you know, if people are saying, you know, Cleveland's not this great place, like we're here to prove that it is, you know. And I think that there's this amazing spirit uh, that sort of emanates here where people, you know, that sort of can-do spirit that people have. and, and Everyone, every time I meet people from Ohio, I can always tell, and especially from, you know, where I grew up, they just have this, like, personality, and it, it's a, it's this amazing uh, sort of quality to everyone, so. And do you think, from your, I, I know it might be hard coming from this area um, that you interpret certain things into, into the area. Do you think that that comes out when we're exporting either goods or ideas or services or, or whatever it is to the greater community? Because... There's a sense here that there's still we're still an underdog and we still have a lot to prove as the mistake on the lake or whatever. Yeah, I think be. that the, I think that people, I think people are every day, you know, challenging the perspective of the city. You know, so every time I go out, I'm, you know, the first thing I tell people is I'm from Cleveland and I'm super proud of it. You know, and everywhere I go, I want to help change the perception. And I think everyone that either stays and is doing amazing things here. Or people that leave. I mean, this fits the theme of today perfectly. If you stay or leave, everyone's doing sort of their part to help, you know, make people understand what's really great about this area. And everyone is, you know, everyone that does something interesting, be it at the Cleveland Clinic or writing a style blog, like they're in, they're proudly from Cleveland and they're promoting it. They're helping, you know, people under, better understand what's really, what this place is really about. Okay. And is there anything that you wish we did? differently when we were putting these images out. Um, is, is there anything? I mean, I think that, I don't know. I mean, I, I like to just talk more about the positives than the negatives. Sure. So a lot of times, like if people will say, you know, oh, it's, you know, I don't really ever go into like, there's, yeah, it's like a troubled city. I don't really talk about that. I say, you know, I don't really look at it that way. I want to project the positive. And so I think that, you know, maybe everyone should, you know, everyone should realize that it's a great place to live and they, and there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot here and a lot of potential here and a lot of interesting things. And, you know, I, I think we could all focus on the positives and would help, you know, the perception of the town. But OK, on that note, then, is there anything style wise coming out of here that you're like, you know what, this is something that people might adopt. It's a rust belt. Um, I mean, I think, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I think it's like if you look at the companies like Drifter mm -hmm. that are making these backpacks and, and you know, making, you know, honestly, they're like really well-made things, like not very expensive and they look cool. And, you know, I think like there's companies like that um, that are doing amazing things and adding a lot to like, you know, the adding a lot to the style world. But um, I think that, you know, Cleveland's not necessarily, you know, I, I don't think it's like necessarily like, I don't think I'm the most stylish guy, but I don't think it's like necessarily the most stylish city. But I think that style is all about sort of, you know, how you, your take on stuff and it's not you know you, we don't need to be we don't need to try to be sort of like the most stylish city okay. it's like have a good perspective be a good person make something real that lasts and like I'd respect that a lot more than I would someone that's just well dressed because they you know live in New York or whatever
So. It's a great perspective. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah, thank you.